Hello my dear viewers, this is Duke S. Copy Webinars and you are watching Euro EST and GPPST Technical Analysis. My name is Rakesh and I am your host. I am a Duke S. Copy community member. Please do not confuse me with the employee of Duke S. Copy because I am not. Therefore all the views or opinions or whatever trading ideas that I am going to tell you in this video are of my own. As the name of the title suggests, we will be carrying out the technical analysis of the euro against the US dollar and the British pound against US dollar. We will also uh, try to carry out the technical analysis of some other major pairs and minor pairs. In this session, we will be strictly talking about the technical aspects of trading. Because as a technical analyst, I already know that every piece of information, whether it is political or fundamental or any type, is already priced into the chart. So, we will be trying to follow the charts only for our analysis and also in this program we will be only using the candlestick charts although there are a few other types of charts also you might have seen like line chart, bar chart, Renko chart and all but we will only be sticking to the candlestick charts because they give us the best information that we need we will also try to find out the key levels for all the pairs and we will see how we can use them in our trading if you guys are new to the technical analysis, I would request you to go to our channel's homepage and then look for the playlist. In those playlists, you will find one playlist named as Profitable Candlestick Pattern and the other one is named as Profitable Chart Patterns. Go through those playlists and it will help you in understanding how we use the technical analysis or the price action in our trading and whatever we are talking about in this program, you will understand. Last but not least, everything that I say in this video is for information or knowledge purposes only. And you should do your own research before you put your hard earned money on the line actually. This was the standard introduction that I give to every viewer and in front uh, in before every video so that if there is any new viewer, he knows exactly what is going on here because it is a long session of 30 minutes. People get bored. But you need to know that there is important information being shared free of cost with everyone. So make sure that you watch it till the end. Thank you. And before we start the session, I want you to go through this risk disclaimer because there is a risk associated with trading any financial instrument and foreign exchange is also a financial instrument. So trading foreign exchange also carries a risk. Please go through this risk disclaimer and then only uh, continue with the video. Okay, I suppose that you have paused the video and gone through the risk disclaimer. So let us continue to the J4X. This is our first chart. Now for every Forex trader, I must say that he should have a look at the dollar index first before he starts his analysis. and uh dollar index now here we have been uh, following dollar index for a long time or you can say keeping an eye on dollar index for a long time like when it started its up move from here in the month of june july we were here and we had made a channel which was being followed precisely till the time it was broken here on 15th of november and then after the price was able to test 96.89 is the high that the price made on 23, point, uh, 23 November. But after that, this price was not breached. Or you can say after this, the price made a low of 95.49. So you can say that the now the price is between these two important levels because this was the reaction low 95.49, which price had made. And this was the high, the previous high that the price had made 96.89. And now you can see the price is consolidating. But within this consolidation, we marked this smaller high here at the level of 96.54 and a smaller low here which is higher low here which was at 95.79 now when we joined these two levels with the previous lows and these two levels with the previous highs we got a symmetrical triangle which broke out first to the upside here then to the downside here this was 
actually a false break to the upside first then a false break to the downside now the price is still trying to go up why i'm saying the price is trying to go up because after this false break down the price was supposed to get resistance here and then come back to test 95.49 which did not happen for some reason and the price tested this fall uh, rising channels resistance line again and is still traveling within that channel or you can say first it broke out of channel here on 20, uh, 18th of november after that it came in on 29th of november and after that it again went out of it on 13th of december and then again came back on 14th of december and is still trying to get out of it in a bullish manner but there is a resistance of 96.89 which is trying to stop the price to go higher now uh, anytime soon i am expecting actually the price to go higher than 96.89 why because this bullish candlestick you can see here the, that means that the the candle closed at around 96.62 now we have to understand the price action here the price opened higher traded a bit lower but it could not break the low of that 15th of december and traded higher and till the end of the day it was able to close at the high of the day the high of the day was 96.64 and the candle closed at 96.62 uh, so you can see that it almost closed at the high of the day or you can say that people were ready to buy dollar at this index level also so now after that next day the price started correction it went to the low of 96.31 only also notice that this was the high that the price was able to make uh, in these all sessions here and was getting rejected but after giving closing higher now this level is acting as a support that means dollar may go high to test 96.89 and maybe eventually even break it now this is just our speculation because we are using that the word may but we have a conviction in the form of this bullish candlestick which is actually engulfing the price action of these three candles here actually the bodies of these three candles that is why i am biased to the bull side and 96.89 is the resistance 95.49 is the support but if you ask me should i buy at the current levels i'll say no because 96.89 is a strong resistance here which we have almost tested twice and i'm expecting it to act as a resistance again so you should not be buying at anything near the resistance but on the other hand you should act as a conservative trader and you should look for a price action like this i'm sorry and this was wrong made by me actually like this once the price break out of this area of 96.89 and gives a good close above that level and then when it comes back to test this level as a fresh support that is the time when you should open your buy positions with this i am done with the dollar index we will focus on the next one but for example i will show you the, here how the price went higher closed a day higher here above the resistance on 15th of november and then after it came back to this level i will show you how it acted here i'll show you on four hour on 15th of december what happened all right this was our line you see this is how it went it went to this level and thereafter it jumped off one could have opened a buy position here with a small stop loss below and could have targeted the next resistance all right i hope you get my point so here also i would request you to wait for the price to actually break higher than 96.89 and then wait for the price to come back to this level to test it as a fresh support and then you can target 97.66 in this market with this said let us focus on the euro now the euro was actually moving in an ascending triangle and it broke below that day before yesterday and gave us a very bearish close on 16th of december at around 1.12370 now this bearish close means that the people were ready to sell their 
euro against the dollar at 1.1237 even after even during the closing session so that means that the buyers are not interested in euro maybe at lower levels around 1.1191 where they were uh, they were ready to buy this uh, euro against the dollar here maybe there will be more buyers those who could not buy it here maybe they will be willing to buy here or they will be more aggressive in this area so right now i don't think that the buyers are going to jump in around these levels and seeing their bullishness of the dollar index there i think the price is going back to 1.1191 to test this level and if after testing it holds then fine if it does not hold then maybe the price will go even lower to 1.1046 also notice that if actually price gives a close below 1.1191 convincingly then 1.1191 will start acting as a resistance and we can target 1.1046 to the next support right now 1.1370 is the horizontal resistance and 1.1191 is the horizontal support in the euro us dollar gbp usd is actually now trying to increase the range here you see how the price actually was uh, this area here 1.3270 to 1.3277 area here was acting as a good resistance let me focus on the four hour you will see here this area was acting as a good resistance or you can say zone of supply in the past here also it was a zone of supply, uh, supply here and a demand here uh, you can see that this area here is an important area but how the price went through this on 16th of december to the upside then tried to take support here at 1.3303 but failed to do so and came back to take support at 1.3187 now this indicates that those who did not want to buy here they waited for the price to come back to this area and then open the fresh buys but those who failed to buy here when they found the price coming back to this area they were so aggressive and that they pushed the price even higher than this high that the initial buyers were able to push to now the question here is that if the initial buyers were able to push here after a pullback the fresh buyers were able to push higher don't you think that the pen number the price comes to this area or maybe this area the buyers will be ready to open the fresh buy positions here now this is the market psychology my friends i am not talking about the technical analysis here but i'm trying to understand the price action here those who entered the wagon here they pushed the price is still here those who missed this band wagon they joined it here okay and now those who missed it here and here also they will definitely be looking for an opportunity now this was the first resistance that the price met after the initial push here by the buyers on four hourly after that the price took support here in this the previously established support area because there were aggressive buyers here then they pushed the price even higher that means if this resistance was broken now this resistance which is broken starts acting as a support if you remember okay the resistance which is broken starts acting as a support now i think this level is a support and the price may even see higher highs now the problem here is that it can see higher highs but the problem is that 1.3270 is still resistance because it was a good important level in the past so i'm expecting this level to act as a resistance whenever the price meets an important level from bottom it acts as a resistance and whenever price act, uh, meets an important level from the high side it acts as a support so the price is going from the bottom that means this may act as a resistance all right but uh we generally trade from the daily charts and we offer resistance and support levels on the daily charts only so i'll request to keep an eye on 1.3187 which is a strong support area and uh, resistance is at around 1.3303 level this is a valid resistance till now but if you want to increase it and uh, keep these two also intact in line then 1.3339 
I think is the area where you should keep your eye on or the highs of this one that is 1.3333 area my friends why I'm moving the line now because this is a line okay this is line but the support and resistance is a zone I want to include all these resistances or all these tips so this also I wanted to uh, involve and this high was 1.33335 that's why I kept it a bit lower than 1.3339 so this is what I think is the support and resistance area now if you think that the price is going to go down then you know how to use these lines in your favor my friends already so next thing that we are going to talk about is the Australian dollar you notice how in the long term Australian dollar is going to go down all right and now here even if it is going down it made a small higher highs and higher lows portion here in the form of this yellow channel and this broke down and then it made a low of 0.7002 which we were talking about from a uh, from a long time actually and now after that the bias jumped in they pushed the prices to 0.7171 area where it met resistance and there was a small pullback the price came back to 0 0.7105 then again those who missed the bandwagon here they jumped in here pushed the prices higher met the resistance at 0 0.7221 the sellers jumped in those who could not sell here they checked it 38.2 percent oh okay we will sell it again they pushed the price even lower than this previous low now you can see that the buyers are aggressive but the sellers are even more aggressive so what does it indicate that those who bought here they may be they sold their positions here or the sellers jumped in here but these sellers were able to push the prices only by how much from high to low i will say 97 points but here when they met the 38 percent level they were able to push the prices 141 points lower that means as we are going higher the sellers are getting more and more aggressive so even if the price goes to 50 percent that is 0.7273 i think the more and more sellers will start pushing the price down uh, or the more and more prior sellers will try start joining the bandwagon and yeah the price will eventually drop so what my point here is that why don't you create a channel like this and the price will keep going up and eventually it will break down below this lower uh, channels lower line and that will be our hint that yes now there are no more buyers left in the Australian dollar and the sellers are in control of the market that's it but right now if you ask me 0 0.7105 is the support area and 0 0.7171 is the next key level talking about the New Zealand dollar New Zealand dollar is trading in this channel actually there are multiple channels that we have made but I don't want much clutter on my chart this channel here which we had drawn is already broken so let's just get rid of this channel also so now it is looking a bit better as a channel also now this low of the falling channel is acting as a support every time the price is meeting this area um, of course the price is in a downtrend but uh, and also on the way up there are multiple resistances at 0 0.6808 and 0 0.6859 area and also 0 0.6979 but the price is already at support zone and if it goes up 0 0.6786 0 0.6808 0 0.6859 are the resistances on the upside on the downside we have this falling channel support line as the dynamic support and 0.6575 is the horizontal support in the New Zealand dollar I have a bearish bias in this currency also but the problem here is that the currency is already at the support level so selling this will not be a good idea but uh, sorry buying this is not a good idea because it's uh, in a sell mode and selling it is not a good idea because it is near the support dynamic support 
so my request is just wait and watch maybe you will get a better opportunity near 0.7074 area here talking about the USDCHF US dollar is bullish against Swiss franc today it's a Maru Bozu candle on the daily chart you can see with a very small wick to the downside and very small wick to the upside if it closes like this then tomorrow can be a big day for the USDCHF and it can even test 0 0.9274 tomorrow now the price is actually trading between the resistance of 0.9274 and the support of 0.9241 if today it closes above 0.9241 then 0.9241 will start acting as a support and the price may go to test the resistance of 0.9274 here that's it for this one and usd jpy is a very good green candle and actually the, it seems like after breaking higher than this channel uh, the price came back to test this channel uh, not to test this channel but within this channel and after this break this resistance seems to be acting as a support also see how second time it acted as a support and now the price is going up 114.84 i think is the next level that we should keep an eye on and 113.25 is the support now for the usd jpy usd ad also is moving in a beautiful channel also notice how good it is in the longer run i will i don't actually want to show you something you see this price action here okay from here the price dropped all the way to 1.2061 after that it found the resistance at 1.2833 and now the price has overcome that resistance in this week okay and has given closing higher than that if you switch to the weekly if you switch to the weekly you will notice that after this uh, break lower the price had uh, got the, here the resistance but last week it has already closed the week higher than 1.2853 level which was the weekly resistance now this indicates that the price is headed toward 1.3417 now every drop in the price should be taken as an opportunity to buy so on the four hour i will see only green green candles i'm sure about that but if if you have to enter this market you should be looking for a channel like this okay and when that channel breaks to the upside like this then you should enter the market because it's a buy buy market now but you should keep an eye on 1.2853 level if any day the price closes below this area then it will be like okay it will be a siren to go and leave your position so that means if you buy you should keep your stop loss below 1.2853 and you should target 1.3417 all right so that is what you have to keep an eye on and also 1.2853 is now support and 1.3417 is the resistance of course this rising channels resistance line will be acting as a dynamic resistance in the time brent crude um nothing much actually the channel the rising channel is broken and price seems to be making a head and shoulder here why i'm saying a head and shoulder because if you see here that this this was a one show this was a head and now it seems like making another shoulder and if it breaks lower then look for a sell here in this area okay i hope you got it but right now if you ask me then uh, the resistance is at 75.62 and the support is at 71.08 if 71.08 is broken then 65.75 will be exposed in this market on the higher side a break above 75.62 will expose 77.80 in this market talking about euro gbp euro gbp is actually yesterday it broke higher but today it is going lower so it's not uh, behaving in any pattern not following any pattern so i will say just stay away from such market which is not uh, following any pattern you see in the past also it seems like it is consolidating a lot and yeah it is consolidating a lot and there is no good clear picture of what is happening so i'll just say stay away from this market although this channel fits in this and there were small false breaks here and then here 
I, I'll just request stay away from Euro GBP because there is a lot of consolidation only in Euro USD and GBP USD also. So that is why maybe there is so much of consolidation in Euro GBP. Although the general trend is a weaker Euro against the British pound here. You can see that the channel is trending down this channel which I have created and uh, till the time Euro does not break out against the dollar I think a uh, higher highs here will not be uh, easy and also here I have seen noticed that there is a head and shoulder forming here also on this chart so let us see how the things unfold in the future but right now if you ask me on the intraday 0.8476 is the support and 0.8523 is the resistance in euro GBP GBP JPY very bullish candle today trading above the resistance of 151.13 151.12 actually and if we give a close higher than 151.12 then 152.37 will be exposed in this market so you can see yes 151.12 is the support now and 152.37 is the resistance chf jpy still tra uh, trading within that rectangle or you can say that support and resistance area we need a closing above this rectangle to see 124.36 for any closing below 122.53 to see 120.94 actually not 122.53 but this this rectangle i want to keep resistance like this okay in line with this rectangle because i have carefully uh, made this rectangle although this channel is broken it has no significance so you can say that the price is consolidating but i fear that anytime it can give a close higher than 123.71 and in that case 124.36 first uh, first target and thereafter 125.88 will be exposed in this market talking about euro against the australian dollar notice how after breaking from this falling channel the price is trying to take support on this falling channels resistance line which is now acting as a support and after this support held now this is an inside bar today 1.5747 is i think the support level which the price should actually obey if it does not then this rising channels support line may offer some support otherwise this confluence of two supports here one will be offered by this rising channel support line and second will be offered by this falling channels resistance line which may now act as a support now these are multiple supports for the euro against australian dollar but right now the price is trading between the resistance of 1.5926 and the support of 1.5747 euro new zealand on the similar lines of australian euro already um, 1.6774 is the resistance 1.6552 is the support and this has also broken through this falling trend line that means the price is going to go up but where is it going to find the support that we cannot be sure but this area seems to be an interesting area or you can say the key area that is 1.6552 area on the higher side we have an interesting area at 1.6774 and these are the simple lines that I have drawn but let us see how the things unfold in future uh, seeing that today's inside bar I think it will be it may be an indication that the price is consolidating before a, a, a move higher here all right let us see talking about the gold gold is trading at 1786.85 day before yesterday there was a bearish pin bar right and the, on the resistance of 1810 and it actually stopped or closed the day almost at the support of 1798 actually it gave a close at 1797.70 and yesterday it gave a high at around 1804 which was in line with the 68 1.8 percent of the previous fall sorry previous rise and sorry previous rise yes here and now today there was a follow up and even today's candle is a bearish pin bar but the problem here is that it is sitting right on these resistances which was uh, which the price was uh, trading at you know, for almost two weeks and these resistances have been broken in the last week and i think now this may act as a support for the price 
because the broken resistance is uh, becomes the support so now the price may act as a support this level may act as a support here but if it fails to act as a support and we see a close even lower than one s783 area then we can go to test 1753 area once again that is what i think about gold and looking at the bigger picture we have a uh, descending triangle which is being formed also we can say that this was a false breakout to the 1870 level now the prices come back within that triangle and now this level here is acting as a resistance so if the price continues to move in this triangle then 1685 is due now because this has been already tested so let us see how the things unfold in future right now 1798.08 uh, is the resistance area and 1753.89 is the support as per my charts talking about the silver here silver has a support at 22.06 a resistance at 22.77 the bias is bullish here all right the bias is bullish swiss index swiss index is also bullish here uh, why because the swiss index is actually trading at the <laughs> all time high you can say if you talk about the monthly chart of the swiss index you will see that the price is trading at all time highs all right and it has uh, taken all the corrections that it was meant to take you see the price after making this high of 12572 corrected all the way up to 11411 levels then made a same high then corrected halfway and now has made higher high that means the price is headed towards 14,284 it's just a matter of time now when it reaches there but yes the price is very bullish uh, the support is 12,572 now the resistance is previous highs here and after that I have only one resistance of 14,284 based on the Fibonacci extensions talking about the euro against the Canadian dollar see how the euro was actually in a period of congestion here here it was in a range and the finally broke below this level of 1.4605 here around 5th of October and now it is testing that level again. So don't you think that those who missed the bus here they would like to join this bus here at around 1.4605. Yes I do the, uh, think the same and also you know, what, what we can do is we can actually draw the lines. okay we can actually draw the lines like this and then you will see that this is a long term falling channel and this area here is an area of congestion and now the price is trying to go up and after on, on the way up the price is actually trying to take support at around 1.4441 area you see here if i closely show you so the after the price made a higher high here it took support here and after breaking higher again now this area here also one important thing that i want to mention here is that there's a long term rising trend line okay which was broken here and this is now acting as a resistance every time the price meets this area but yesterday the price managed a close higher than this and now this is acting as a support i will switch to four hourly and you can see that this level is acting as a support but the problem is that it has also has a major resistance very near that is 1.4605 you switch to the daily again you see 1.4605 is a very important level here on 20th of march 2017 and after that it has been an important level you can see here in 2019 july and august after that it was an important level here in november and december 2019 then here on 21st of january then here it was a bullish pin bar on 2nd of february 2020 and here it was a resistance here it was resistance 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 sorry not here uh, support support and now this may act as a resistance 1.4605 is what i'm talking about my friends i'm sorry about the upper levels that i mentioned here so you you got me okay so this is an important level everybody is having his eye on uh, eyes here but the euro is bullish against the canadian dollar for sure because the us dollar is bullish against the canadian dollar euro is also supposed to go higher but the problem here is that this is a zone of supply and that's why this is a bearish pin bar here on the daily chart if the canadian dollar appreciates more brent goes high 
then the EuroCAD can even go to 1.4441 and 1.4295 in the real future. Right now 1.4605 is the immediate resistance and 1.4441 is immediate support for the price. Talking about the Bitcoin, Bitcoin has failed to move higher than this falling channel. Is still following this channel till the time this does not go higher than this falling channel. We cannot be sure to buy the Bitcoin. On the contrary, any close below these lows here, I will mark them. These are the lows at 45,469. Any close below these lows will open the way to 40,705. And if we see a closing below 40,705, we can also see a closing near 28,795 or a test of 28,795. That is what I told you about in this previous video also. Why I have created this uh, ellipse? This is actually a confluence of support. If the price would have broken higher than this, then this area would have acted as a support. But since this is not a valid now, so I will just remove it. Now my friends, I have, uh, I suppose I have got everything covered and I hope you got the idea about the support and resistance levels that are of interest in the coming hours and days. Just keep in mind to never risk more than 1% of your capital on any single trade and look for a potential profit of more than three times the risk that you're going to take. So how you can do it? You can adjust your position size in such a manner that if your stop loss gets triggered, you should not lose more than 1% and your stop loss should be based on the price action it should not be based on the points okay that you are you are willing to risk it should be based on the price action the uh, support and resistance level should be based on your charts now with this note i shall end this video please press the like button if you find this video useful for you you should turn it into a green one or in a blue one i don't know what you throw at it you can throw your thumb, your cursor, whatever you want to, but it should be blue in color. Now, you can leave your suggestions in the comment section. You can also consider subscribing to the channel for more such videos. Also, you can join the community that is to a copy forex community where I am proud member. And there are so many things for the forex traders over there. Even the position sizing tool is also there if you go through the website. And I wish you and we are family a very happy and a profitable day. Thank you very much for watching.